Did you see the news about the Russians shelling this nuclear power plant, the biggest nuclear power station in all of Europe, and how if it went bang, it would be far bigger than Chernobyl ever was? That news article alone tells me all of this is getting way out of hand. It doesn't matter, you know, what side of the narrative you believe or what you're looking at. It's a very dangerous situation. And it's getting worse and worse. And I read today that Germany were going to send some uh, toys to the Ukrainians. But there's a little bit of a problem, you see. Some of them don't work. <laughs> How do everybody? Welcome back to the channel for Friday. Hope you're doing all right. I'm not too bad. Not too bad myself. Well, Ukraine, it's uh, still ongoing, isn't it? And, uh, you know, it's got the potential to blow up in everybody's faces big time, no matter what side of the narrative you look, uh, look at and what you choose to believe. Well, there was a, a story over the last couple of days where the Russians were trying to get hold of you know, the the biggest nuclear power station in Europe, effectively. And they started shelling it, and there was a big fire. Well, according to all the press, the Russians have now got hold of it, and the fire apparently has been extinguished and didn't go anywhere near any uh, safety devices or anything like that within the complex. So, thank God for that. Whew sigh of relief. Well, in other news, uh, Germany decided, uh, along with others, they were going to send some uh, toys over to Ukraine to help with the fight. And I've got the list here, actually. Have a listen, right? Uh, a shipment of a 1,000 anti-tank rockets, 500 fully operational Stinger anti-aircraft missiles, all safely delivered this week. And they were going to uh, follow it up with a delivery of 2,700 Strela missiles. That sounds like a lot, doesn't it? But there's a little bit of a problem, you see. Turns out 700 of the things don't work and are unsafe to use. You see, they were declared obsolete, probably getting on 10 years ago now, and they're 35 years old. They've been in storage ever since, and some of the wooden boxes that they're stored in are so corroded, they're starting to fall to pieces, and there's signs of corrosion in the missile systems themselves they they're just no good they won't fire and some of the people who go and inspect them have to wear protective equipment yes not great there you go anyway i'm off i'll see you soon with another one toodaloo